What's up everyone, it's Ian Bors, new video and today I'm going to talk again about UMK 2024, UMK 24, whatever you like and I'm here to make a reaction, reaction on studio version or the music video on what I think about it, it's the first time I will hear the song, see the song and it will be just very very fresh reaction, completely honest you can bet on this, so let's talk. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm very glad you're here and before I'm going to start I'll ask you for subscriptions and also I ask you if you like this channel, if you like the content I'm doing and you would like to somehow say thank you, you can also buy me a coffee, it's the way of donation. So however you want, if you feel it, do it, if you don't feel it, come on, no pressure and let's see who's the next artist and also what is the song about? Cine Sabotage and the song's name is in Finnish Kuori Mua. Oh, when I see this first thumbnail of this music video, I immediately appears in my mind Jummy from Justin Bieber. Okay, pain up play. Oh my god, she's very photogenic. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. Oh my god, I immediately love it. Let's don't let's let's go this way. <laughs> let's go when it's, when it's gonna develop. Let's see. I like the I like the visual design. I need to find out what Korim was. I like this part. I like this red part. This is amazing, this, this creates a tempo, this creates a good build up. Also, music with the beat, simple, works, it's very well mixed. But then the bridge, bridge part, the chorus part, it's. But she's very strong in the rap, that works. But basically, the chorus is very underwhelming, like it's, it's developing very strongly somewhere. It's, it will be, this is very hard to rem remember the melody. But it can be very nice dancey. Like for stage, this could look good. Like I think in here you need to understand what it's about, but no one will that. No one will do. Only pure the hardcore fans will know. And those are not the older voters, come on. A radio song for sure. Okay, uh, I'm thinking out loud, just very very first reaction, the last thought was in my mind was when I was younger, you know, we were watching those MTV television where only music videos were going one by one all the time, like instead of radio you were having this as a as a background and this exactly feels like this, like the like the song, I'm preparing coffee, I, I'm, I know it a little bit, I may, I may be a little bit of dance, but then it's a build up to like bigger songs, let's say, because I don't want to say more quality songs because that wouldn't be first of all fair i think this also it's it's a quality song it has a very nice melody it is very well mixed like by mixing this is amazing the musical part is a little bit undeveloped or underwhelming not undeveloped that wouldn't be the fair to say i think it's developed very well probably this was the way let's do let's do the song like this which i would work but i think for eurovision this is not enough building up if you want to shine over there. It's the very good songs to have it on the album. It's a song exactly I would like to see the music video, but it's not the song I can immediately start to dance on. Didn't open this hit. It didn't have this this power. It's developing somewhere and then drops. Such a song should give me something rememberable, remarkable, something which I will take and remember the build up to the stuff which I say like wow this is this is the best refrain, best chorus, whatever. This is it. This is the peak and I will hear it a little while in the beginning, a little while in the middle and at the end the explosion of it. I think it. the song is missing it. 
it's missing this edge. That doesn't mean it's bad. I kind of, I, I liked it. I liked it. I liked the beginning. I liked the rap part. It, it makes you moving, but and you expect like, hey, baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're going for Eurovision. No. And I think this is the specificism of, of Eurovision in compared to music for radios and so on is that you need also to shine in there. The, the song must be very strong to immediately catch, immediately have a hook, immediately have have something rememberable, remarkable, huge. Something what immediately snaps you and you will then watch another two songs but you still have this melody in your head and this is not the case, in my opinion, by song. But the live performance is the key. It can be completely different because already the dance moves are existing. It Those are catchy, like visually, this music video was very catchy and if they somehow transfer this atmosphere to the stage, it can change the odds a little bit. If it changed the song, no, but live performance is a magic right so also judging just by studio version wouldn't be fair because they can be some tricks some things some specificisms of the live performance which can make change our minds or my mind but I think this can be a little bit of general feeling like it's miss a little bit to be amazing song a little bit but that's my opinion and my opinion only and you can have the opposite one or another one or different one write me in the comments below is this the song from Cine Sabotage which is your UMK24 winner do you want this song to represent Finland write me in the comments below and that's it for now thank you for watching subscribing giving thumbs up and sending me a coffee and I see you next time thank you for watching bye